right, so when we draw a blue dog, we have some directions that we can follow to make the different blue dog parts. And the first thing that we're gonna draw on our blue dog is his head. And his head is a circle shape. We're gonna be drawing in the big Sharpies. And when we draw his head, we need to draw it really big. Big like the size of our hand, not small like a fist. So we wanna make a nice big circle to start our blue dog. After we make our big circle for his head, the second thing are his ears. And when we make his ears, they are a triangle shape, but the lines are kind of wiggly. So I always start by making a dot for the tip of his ear first. And then after I do that, I make a nice wiggly line to his head. And then I go back to that dot and I make another wiggly line to his head. And that gives him nice big blue dog ears. Same thing on the other side, dot, and then a wiggly line to his head and another wiggly line to his head. After I make his ears, the third thing are his eyes, and his eyes are circle shapes, and they're pretty big. After I make those circle shapes, I need to make the inside of his eye, but a dot is not big enough. And instead of a dot, I actually need to make a little circle that I color in black. After his eyes, I make his nose, and his nose is an oval shape with a line underneath, kind of like a lollipop. So I'm gonna make a nice big oval, and this is the only thing we're really gonna color in today because he has a black nose. So we're gonna use our three star coloring, and we are gonna fill that nose in with our black Sharpie, but that is it. The rest of it we're gonna save for when we get to paint next time. And then I make the line down to the bottom of the circle. In the fifth step, we're gonna make his white fur. Blue dog has white fur around his nose. It's part of how we know he's blue dog and not some other dog. So when we make the white fur, we actually start up between his eyeballs and we go down all the way below the circle a little bit and then we go back up between his eyeballs. And I wiggle a little as I draw it so it's furry looking. And I'm gonna go all the way down below the circle and then back around his nose and up between his eyes. After I do that, I now can see that the bottom of the circle here is his mouth. The last part that we're working on is his body. We're done with his head, and we need to add two lines all the way to the bottom of our paper for the top of his body. And we want them to be kind of far apart. We don't want them really close together. Then we have a little bit of room there just for showing the tops of his front legs. And it's a line, a rainbow, and a line. And those things go to the bottom of the paper. Line, rainbow, line. So now I have blue dog drawn. When I get to the last step, number eight, the question is where is he? Or it could be what is he doing? I need to come up with an idea for what blue dog is doing in my picture because he can be everywhere just like the sky. Now George Rodriguez has done lots of blue dog paintings and you can see from some of these examples we have blue dog as a clown or he's wearing a crown and he's a king or looks like he might be kind of a, a sheriff or it looks like a doctor he's got a stethoscope or a butterfly or maybe he goes on vacation and he goes to the beach or he dresses up for a costume party here he's a chef looks like he turns into Rudolph in this one because he gave him a red nose we got him flying on a magic carpet, kind of like Aladdin. We've got Hawaii, or he goes to the big city. So there's lots of ideas here. And sometimes, depending on where he's at, or what he's doing, he might need to wear something special. Like when he's a chef, he has a chef hat and a chef coat. Or when he's a king, he has a crown and he has his cloak. So I think I'm gonna make my blue dog dressed up in the costume that my daughter is wearing this year for trick or treat. And she is going to be a fairy princess. So I am going to give her a really pretty princess tiara. And I think her tiara has like a big gem in the middle and then it has a couple of little ones and it has one on the end. And then she has a nice pretty pair of blue fairy wings that she picked out and they have little jewels on them as well. And of course she's going to need her fairy wand. So I'm going to have blue dog kind of holding the fairy wand and her fairy wand is actually heart shaped and it has a big gem in the middle and one sticking out kind of like that. 
So, um, since she's going trick-or-treating in this costume, I might decide to maybe draw the, the sidewalk that she's walking on. Um, I could draw the fact that it's going to be dark out when we're trick-or-treating, and my daughter loves the moon. So I'll put the moon in my picture, and then maybe a few little stars out. Um, I could start to draw a house. You know, she goes trick-or-treating, she goes to the houses to get the candy. So maybe I make a nice house for her to go to and go inside, and, and then she's ready for trick-or-treating. So that's the last step is we're going to make where blue dog is or what blue dog is doing in our picture and then when we're all the way finished we have to turn our paper over and i don't want to write my name in this sharpie because you can see that the sharpie is going through the paper so instead of writing my name in sharpie the last thing i do is i get a pencil from my basket on my table and i write my name with my pencil instead and that is it for drawing blue dog